door is locked. This place has an elevator, which is not in use anymore. That's so cool. furniture you guys like this is so old gosh that is so cool Some of these are so old. Take a look at some of these books. They're so old. Touch them because it might fall apart on me. Wow. Some old pictures of some of the patients. Was that lady? Is that really her body? <laughs> This is one of the quotes from one of the patients basically saying that Thanksgiving was the greatest and that Christmas was wonderful as well and it felt like a fairy tale. It didn't seem like he was that he was really in a nut house according to the patient. So this must have been the big like banquet hall or dining room hall where they had all their meals or dances. Everything here is so just vintage and amazing. These stairs are so beautiful. Look at all the woodwork. to the clock tower, but uh, it's bolted.
check out the roof. Big hole. Place, it seems like it goes on for miles. I think the main thing I love about uh, asylums is uh, all the random abandoned wheelchairs and, and beds and stuff. It just looks so cool. It looks like a little closet, but look how small this door is. <laughs> like, like my head is almost touching the ceiling. This is so weird. Anyway, supposedly there's uh, four or five known ghosts up here. A couple of them uh, apparently play jokes on people, and uh, one apparently escaped through the window and fell halfway down and died. And he roams the halls as well. Here's like the old, old style tub. Wow. The tour guide also said that apparently water sometimes can be heard running through the pipes and of course uh, this place hasn't been used since 1994 so that's another interesting f fact. 
just looks like little miniature like troll doors or like I don't know. Just so so creepy. So I think this is the room that the patient uh, that jumped out the window and died. This was where he stayed, I believe, according to the tour guide. So this wing down here and the one that I previously checked out, those were the wings for the people that were staying here for drug and alcohol problems. So this place housed a variety amount of people, mentally disabled, alcohol drug problems, young kids. They pretty much housed everyone who had a problem here. And so yeah, this, this wing or dorm or whatever you want to call it was the alcohol or drug wing. It really is insane though how many, how many rooms they had here. This is just a fourth floor and I'm only showing you a part of it. All the rooms look alike, so I'm not going to show every room, but there are so many, so many different rooms for so many patients here.